Hi everyone, welcome to Bobini Creates. My name is Jeannie and I want to share with you today a little bit of happy mail, so exciting, and also um, some gifts that I receive, you know, for Christmas. So let's go ahead and get started. So um, this one is, I'm not going to try to pronounce that, but Teddy Bear Therapy by Diane DeFour. And um, I, I received this in the mail from some friends and they don't want to be identified, so I'm not going to do that. But thank you so much, you guys. You have no idea. I'm just so thrilled to have this. Um, what a thoughtful gift. Absolutely. Um, I don't have any of her books. So this was really, I mean, extra special to be able to get this. Um, and I've already colored a page in here, but I've got it clipped, paper clipped together with another page so that you don't see it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> but um, so cute. And I just love how they're doing all different things. Little teddy bears or skiing or picnicking or, you know, hiking or camping or whatever. And it's just, just precious. And the paper's nice too. It's kind of... Um, well, I think a lot of you guys have her books. I, I didn't, but really a nice thicker paper. So I'm excited to see how that performs with uh, different mediums. So that anyway, very, very special gift. So thank you once again for this. Oh, I can't, can't wait to just color a bunch of pictures in this. <laughs> and the other thing I love is just the size that you I feel like you can complete a page pretty quickly and that's it's always nice to have that little sense of accomplishment and um, also easy to take with you like if you want go to whatever an um, appointment or something like that you could just pop this in your purse even and um, and color it and uh, just so cute thank you thank you thank you and next up we have a million baby animals and on any of these, if you guys want to flip through, let me know. Um, you know, I know that they're out there, so maybe you don't. <laughs> but I, you guys probably know I love her books. So um, this is the latest one out. So, of course, I, I needed this. So this was fun. And um, anyway, that's lots of cute images in here. And, oh, I showed this one on my last video as an option perhaps for... Um, a Valentine's page to color. So anyway, very, very, very cute. So Million Baby Animals by Lulu Mayo. And this one, a lot of people are working in this. Um, Small Victories by Johanna Basford. So this one I have not even cracked open yet, except for just to look at the wonderful illustrations. And I love how all the books that I've showed you so far are all these little pocket size books. And they are they're just um, a really, I think, a really good idea because you can you can accomplish a page so quickly and um, move on to something else, and it just makes you feel like you are successful. You know, like this book being called Little Victories. I love that because yeah, that's exactly what it is. You know, you could color the whole page, or you could just color one of these and feel satisfied. You know. And I love that. So, of course, I love her her artwork anyway. So, small victories. Um, if anybody wants to do a buddy color in this, I would love that. Because I have not even started and I really need to. And on these ones, the next two are um, Tales from the Witch's Cottage and Midnight Masquerade, both by Hannah Carlson. And um, I got these with a gift certificate and... Um, I just was so excited about get, being able to get these. Um, I know they're not the newest books um, out there, but I didn't have them, so oh, I'm just so excited. I've got one page colored in this um, that I'm not going to show you again. I, I clipped my, <laughs> my pages together so that you couldn't see. I was thinking, actually, <clears throat> this there's quite a few images in here would, that would be perfect for Mardi Gras. Uh, Mardi Gras, excuse me. Um, yeah, I should have done that. So anyway, just maybe a thought for some of you guys. Really fun images, and she's hands down, you know, one of my favorite illustrators. 
And this one was probably the one that I was most excited about because I love Halloween. Tales from the Witch's Cottage. And um, I've seen so many awesome pages done in this. So um, I can't wait to do that myself. So anyway, that's that. I know you guys have seen this, but again, um, just a little quick flip. And then this is really cool I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I got this set of uh, pencils at seven, and I, I don't know, NSXSU multicolored pencils. And um, here's the, the back side of it if you wanted to snap a pic of that if it's something that interests you. But what's really cool about these is that these are those um, magic kind of type pencils, like koh Noor magic pencils, where they have, see how they each have, <laughs> look at my painted fingers, um, where they each have different colors, you know, so we've got like a, a turquoise and green and purple and purple and blue, you know, um, red and yellow, just, you know, different combinations. And so this is what the tips look like. So they come um, blunt when you, when you get them, when you pull them out of the box. They come, you know, kind of just pretty, like a thick blunt cut, so you can really see the colors at the end. I've sharpened mine and I've been using them, but um, they're really, oh, goodness sakes, they're really, um, and no counting, those of you who count dropped pencils, no counting. And you know who I'm talking about out there. <laughs> you guys know who you are. Anyway, um, they're a real thick barrel. So like compared to, let's see here, let me grab a, let me grab Prismacolor just to kind of show you. Hang on a second. Okay, so... A Prismacolor pencil is going to be that. So you can see like a huge difference between the two. Um, and then here's the the end um, in comparison, if you can see that, hopefully. So I use my Doll 133 sharpener on this and it works really well. So just so you know, you will need a, a, a wider capacity sharpener. But just to kind of show you what it does... So it's got the several different colors in here. And so you really don't have control over what comes out. But if you just barely, I should probably be pushing a little harder. If you just barely turn it, that's where you're going to get the color payout. See, so just color, you know, color and, and turn or twist just a little bit at a time as you're going. And um, you'll see all these different colors. But isn't that kind of fun? Um, you know what? I might as well do the rest of these. So starting out with a purple. And I'm twisting. And you can kind of see like a, like a wine color maybe. And I yellow but I thought you know these would be really fun and I have been using them but for um, leaves and grass and things like that where you really do want a multitude of you know colors in your in your picture that you're working on and it's just plain fun I'm a little awkward at it because I'm used to holding a a thinner pencil so please don't judge the, the success of these pencils by how rough you know my my coloring looks but you can sort of see like a an orange and a yellow there let's see what else do we have starting out yellow oh that's pretty And if you're a person that has these or um, has used anything like it, like I said, like the Koei Noor, um, let me know it, what you use yours for and if you have any sort of tips and tricks um, for
for maybe getting a smoother look than, you know, I've, I'm showing you here. <laughs> Actually, let me push a little harder so you can see the colors a little bit better. Isn't that cool though? I love that. That's a nice combination. And here. And thank you, dear friend who got this for me. I've had just so much fun with these. Might have turned a little too here, a little too quickly. You can see that it clearly has some red in there that I, there we go. Anyway, or a wine color. And then let's see what we've got here. There we go. <laughs> I always love like a, either a blue green or a blue, this might be, yeah, it's a blue yellow combination, but together, um, of course, it makes green, which is really neat. Yeah, that'd be fun for water or something. Okay, and then this one looks like it has quite a lot of different colors, so this should be interesting. And I've seen some people use blender pencils um, as well, you know, so that might be neat to look at also. Actually, I kind of want to do a little bit more of that and see what else we get. <laughs> I was kind of um, not remembering to turn. Well, this is kind of an ASMR um, video <laughs> with all my pencil scribbles. So yeah, anyway, that's the seven of them. And I just think they're a, f a fun little thing to use, especially if you were to maybe grab one of these smaller coloring books and you just wanted a small set of pencils to take with you. This would be fun, you know, for your little uh, day outing. I love all the colors in that. And clearly as, you know, you cycle through um, each pencil, you, you know, it, the color is gonna look different, but you can see how fun these are. That's what I mean, like sometimes you're gonna get more of one color than the other. And um, so clearly uh, it runs through the length of the, the barrel, which is neat. So anyway, that's that. And then the only other thing I got was, um, these and these are just a little set of acrylic paints and they were just they were under five dollars they were for something at Walmart and I what I what attracted me to them is a lot of times um, on these metallics you don't get all the colors and so I was excited to see like the red for example I mean there's different colors that you don't see very often and I know these are small but um you know, on coloring pages, sometimes you just need like a little accent, right? You just need like a, a little bit of a color. You don't need a, a ton of, you know, say, here, let me show you real quick, um, a bottle of, you know, this metallic. That's, that's awesome. But sometimes you just need a little touch of color. And I thought these, you know, the price was right on these. I thought they were kind of cool. So, um... Let's see, I think there were 12 of these. Yep. So anyway, that was that little set. Um, I'll try to remember to show a, an image um, of the box. I, I've since thrown that away because I get excited. <laughs> I don't like to save packaging very much, so I tore into these and then I didn't um, save the packaging. But um, I also, if they have, they may have numbers on them, but you know, just for the sake of ease, I went ahead and I numbered the backs of these so that, you know, they'd be 
easier to swatch out. So. so let's go ahead and swatch some of these out just to sort of see what they do. So I've got myself a little cup of water here and I wanted to show you, I always, I was kind of proud of myself for this idea. I've, I've been doing this for years, but my sister got me this mug uh, years ago and it's got a, it's got a wider base, which I love using in my studio back here because I feel like it's not going to tip over and it's heavier. But what I love to do is I love to take these plastic cups, fill them with water, and that way I'm not constantly having to wash out my cup. And then the other thing I do is I set my paintbrush off to the side. So, you know, it, it can, when you rinse it off and you set it here, it can kind of just drip down into, um, the, the water can drip down into the cup and that's just a fun way to use these and um, keep your your work area kind of clean so anyway let's go ahead and try some of these out and I'm just gonna get the tiniest little bit of color because I'm not trying to do a big area here but let's see what we've got and I went ahead and dipped that in water because I just, uh, and then uh, dried it off on a little towel just so that they're all the same, gonna perform the same, you know, because I know I'm gonna be rinsing off between each application. So I thought, you know, in the sake of fairness, let's go ahead and do each color, you know, um, applying on the paper and then rinsing in the water. So I had a little coughing spell there. So you want to usually apply a couple of different coats of acrylic paint if you want an even application. I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to swatch out the colors for us. And um, this is the one that I was the most excited about is the red. Just because sometimes you just need that little pop of color. You know, I might as well make that a bigger area since I put a little more paint on my palette. Anyway, so there is the red. Now at this point, they may not be shiny. So, oh yeah, actually I can see the purple. So I think as they dry, can you see that? Maybe as they dry, they'll probably get a little shim more shimmery than I'm seeing here. Let's see. And I don't know that I need to test all of these out, but. We'll see. I love that. That's such a nice, rich color. Wow. And I hope it's got a metallic sheen to it when it dries. That's that's the main thing, right? Let's look at that. A little bit. You know, so far I feel like the purple's the most, and then next the blue. Not so much on the red which was the one I was the most excited about, but again, maybe when it dries. Okay, we're gonna try a tiny little bit of orange. And you can sort of see like when you, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see the shimmer in the actual paint itself. It's kind of subtle, I think, but. But again, you know, just for a little pop of color, I think this might be just what I need on some pages, you know. Little bit of shimmer, not a lot. Okay, where were we? Let's try yellow. Boy, and just a tiny little bit of paint seems to go a really long way. So just remember that when you're 
doing these. Okay. A little bit of shimmer there. Let's see, let's do another blue. Yeah, you can kind of see, I think I'm right, as these dry, they get a little bit better. See, like that one, you can see. The red, I'm still not seeing much shimmer. A little disappointed there. All right. I love that color. This is one of my favorite colors anyway. I'm a, I love blues and purples, but teal is a real favorite of mine. Teal or aqua, anything like that. Yeah, I like that one an awful lot. Actually, let me put just a little bit more because I'm playing. Yeah. And the other thing, too, I was talking about, like, those the small pencil set being a fun little travel set, perhaps. I think this would be a fun little travel set as well, you know? Um I think this would be perfect for like when we go camping or something and I just want to take my smaller bits of art supplies. I think this would be fun, you know, because you can get so many different colors. Um, but just pack them up in like a small little pencil case. You know what? I didn't get very much on there, but I think you get the idea. Um, that's pretty... And it would be nicer if I added a little bit more color. You know what? Let me do that. A little bit more. But yeah, I definitely next time we camp, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring these. Just cause. Just because I can. <laughs> I'm always looking for things like that. I don't I mean Let's face it, we have so many different supplies, but you don't want to pack up everything when you go on a trip. You just you just want a little representation of your materials to get the job done. That's pretty, you know, again, if I had a little heavier coat, I think that's a really lovely metallic sheen. Okay, what else do we have? So yeah, that's definitely coming with me. Here's something else that's looking kind of that, like a, like a gold color. Okay, let me, let's move my, my things over here a little bit. Hopefully I've been keeping you in frame. I haven't really been paying much attention to that. Sometimes I get too busy playing and I don't. Don't look at my camera. Oh, I like that. I really do. Isn't that neat? I like it. And again, you would normally put another coat on it, but um, oh, that's, a, that's a neat color. I like that a lot. Yeah. Okay. And the last ones are probably not as exciting. It looks like I've got a light gray, a dark gray, and a black. Um, but the, ooh, I don't know. Maybe these will be the most exciting. I'm put, I'm laying down this silver, and um, that's looking really promising. So let's see. Let's 
see. Yeah, that's going to be another good one. Let me add just a tiny bit more. I'm trying not to put very much on my palette just because I'm, I don't want to waste it because I'm, I'm, I'm just watching for you guys. I'm not, I'm trying to create something. So let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I didn't get that very even, did I? Yeah, I didn't get that very even, but I can see where that with a couple of different coats, I think this one will be fun. Yeah, I'm kind of removing the paint there in the center as I'm going over it while it's still wet, but that's okay. And then this darker gray. Oh man. Darn it, anyway. Ha! Oh, my brush was still wet. I can see literally the, the flex on this. I was saying this might be the least exciting part of my swatching with these last three colors, but I'm going to take that back. I can already see the, the flex in this. That's super pretty. Okay. Oh, I like that. Yep. Yeah. Very cool. And then finally, the black. That's pretty dark though, isn't it? You can see that being super... Oh, this is not black. I thought it was because of that. So no, it's like a pearl. That should be interesting. All right, so I was wrong about that one. Okay, and let's look at that one. Ooh, that's pretty. I didn't get even strokes, but that's going to be a pretty one. So overall, I like it. I like this. The yellow, I don't see a whole lot there. Um, you can see metallic in all of them, but I think the least amount of the shimmer coming through is the yellow, the orange, and the red, perhaps. But I hope you can see these. It's always so hard to capture uh, shimmer or sheen or glitter on camera, but hopefully you can kind of see that. Anyway, that is going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me and um, letting me play a little bit, and I will see you on my next video. Bye, everyone.